So what is up guys, welcome back to another video So in today's video what we're going to be doing should be quick and simple But you know, knowing me, I'm probably going to drag it on and it's going to take forever So what we're going to be doing today is giving my rear bumper a temporary look or style Just like the drifters out there So you probably already know by the title What we're going to be doing today is giving my rear bumper some JDM stitches so with that being said, we can officially start. So basically for those who don't know what JDM stitches are, it's basically what drifters like to use, you know, when they have a crack in the bumper. Usually what they do with a crack in the bumper is they'll drill two holes, like along the whole crack, and then they'll just weave some cable ties in and out to make like an X shape or like a stitch shape. So basically what that does is, you know, if you have a crack like this, basically the cable ties meant to hold it stronger or hold it temporary, you know, until you get a new bumper or actually get it fixed. So, yeah, so basically what they usually do is, for example, I'm going to be patching up here. So they'll drill two holes, one in each side. So like, like that, like that, like that. And then they'll just, you know, wave the cable ties in like an X shape or a stitch shape. And then, you know, you have your JDM stitch. All right, guys, so I have a rough idea of where I'm going to put it. It's so much harder when you don't have a crack because basically if you have a crack, you just follow the line. Basically, you know, I just got scuffs. I want to cover, you know, this main scuff here. So what I'm going to be doing is probably starting it off like this, that. So, you know, cover here and then we'll go from there. But you guys, so one last thing before we do actually get started is, you know, a quick tip is your drill bit right here should be the same size as your cable tie because there's no point like getting a bigger drill bit and then you put it in your cable ties and then you'll see that you know the excess holes around so what you want to do is try and find a drill bit that is similar so my one right here i think that drill bit is slightly bigger but it's my only drill bit so yeah let's hope for the best i'm gonna pop one right here Boom guys, so there it is, the S2K rear bumper is now off. As you can see, uh, I couldn't pull it fully out because 
is still attached to the license plate lights and what happened was I tried to take this light off or this plug off but it feels too hard and it feels like it's gonna break so I don't want to risk breaking so therefore I'm just gonna leave the bumper hanging like this but at least now I can get access to the back and then I can put the cable ties in so finally after all that process of removing the bumper we can start feeding in the cable ties and then we'll see how it goes Boom guys, so the JDM stitches is all now done and it's looking pretty sick, so let's have a sus. So there it is guys, you can't really tell as the car is still a bit wet because it is pretty cold this morning, but as you can see down here, you can finally see the JDM stitches. So it looks pretty sick, however the one thing I would say is, as you can see these holes right here, I kind of wish my drill bit was a bit smaller or way smaller because as you can see, the JDM stitches look pretty sick but with these big ass ugly holes it looks 100 times uglier but like look how shit that looks eh but I couldn't really do much as that was my only drill bit so I had to work with it eh but far it looks pretty sick and I like the way how I angled it so I try to curve it as you can see and back down kind of missed over here but it doesn't really matter eh so there it is guys the JDM stitches on my rear but you can't really see it on camera in real life you can see it but it's hard to notice as well but basically it's because I think my car is a bit dark and also because the cable tie is black so it doesn't really stand out eh? so you guys probably have a few questions regarding why I did the JDM stitch instead of fixing the bumper well I kind of got two answers well number one being I might as well try something new and you know I might as well add some character to the damaged rear bar and second reason is you know I am going to source out a new bumper or try and fix it so I guess drilling new holes in the bumper won't hurt at all alright guys so last look before end the vlog look how sick the JDM stitches actually look look you can kind of see it from here now Shit, damn. Damn, turned out pretty sick as well. JDM stitches or drift stitches, eh? So that's gonna do it for today's video, guys. Comment down below what you guys think. I know I'm gonna get some love and some hate for this, but comment down below. So yeah, hopefully you guys learned something new today or you got inspired. Nah, jokes, don't think anyone got inspired. But anyways, give this video a fat like, P-H-A-T, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Ladies. Oh shit!